Good evening, Foster. Today is May 20th, 2020. What do we believe about the Sabbath? The Jewish people observe the Sabbath from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Is there any evidence in the New Testament that the early church and the early apostles also observed the Sabbath? In fact, there is. Let's take a brief walk just through the book of Acts. In Acts chapter 13, verses 14 through 49, on the Sabbath day, Paul enters the synagogue at Pisidian Antioch and worships with the believers there. In chapter 14, verse 1, he's in the synagogue in Iconium. Verse 15 actually quotes the Sabbath commandment, saying that the Lord God created the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. Acts chapter 15 contains the great Jerusalem council, and in verse 21, the conclusion of that council is that the Gentiles, every Sabbath, would be in the synagogue listening to the reading of the words of Moses. In chapter 16, verse 13, when Paul showed up at Philippi, there was no synagogue there, so he met with the believers on the Sabbath day down by the riverside. In chapter 17, verse 1, on the Sabbath day, Paul is in the synagogue at Thessalonica. In verse 10, he's in the synagogue at Berea. In verse 17, he's in the synagogue in Athens. In chapter 18, verse 4, on the Sabbath, he's in the synagogue in Corinth. In chapter 18, verse 19, he's in the synagogue in Ephesus. And then in verse 26, sometime later, the believers are still in the synagogue at Ephesus. And in chapter 19, verse 8, sometime later, the believers are still in the synagogue at Ephesus. Chapter 20, verses 7 through 12, actually contains the record of a Saturday evening social Paul celebrating with the believers in Troas after the Sabbath day was over. So you see, there's a great deal of evidence in the New Testament that the early church and the early believers worshipped on the Sabbath day and received the blessing of that observance. And what would the Sabbath come to mean for them? Have a great evening, Foster.